welcome everybody to another live session. In fact, the first, very first live session in the new year. Happy 2022. I hope everybody's doing great and happy and healthy. And thank you so much for being here today, taking some time out of your day to spend it with me. I'm super happy about that. Today we are doing our monthly um, casual sort of TEFL and TESOL Q&A. So we're here to have a chat. Um, you can ask me questions. I'm probably going to ask you some questions. And we can have a little bit of an exchange today, a TEFL chat. I do have my coffee with me here. So feel free to also grab a coffee, a tea, a beverage of your liking and come back here. Um, hello. Hi, Illustre. Thanks uh, for joining and happy to see you again. I think I did, haven't seen you in a while. So uh, great. From Angola in Congo. Awesome. Cool. Welcome, welcome. Where Where is everybody else from? Let me know. I am currently still in Germany, but I am flying back to Korea next week. Um, so I'm getting ready for that. It snowed today in Germany, so that was really, really nice. It's still, I think, snow's still there on the ground. Very pretty. Um, do let me know. Vanessa here from Namibia. Great. We have Hicham from Morocco. Cool. Hello, Mohammed from Egypt. Very nice. Welcome, welcome. Where is everybody else from? Let me know. I'm always super curious. And Hicham in Morocco is a teacher of English at a secondary school. Very nice. Yassin, also from Morocco. Welcome, welcome. Hi, how did you get into the new year? Did you make any New Year's resolutions? Uh, maybe uh, going to take a TEFL course in 2022? Teach abroad, teach online. What are your goals? Do let me know. Do let me know. And also, please don't forget, as always, to like and subscribe. We do go live twice a week. Um, so stay tuned for that. If you like and you subscribe, you get notified whenever we do go live. And you also get to see all the other content that we share on our socials. Um, there's content every day, um, useful for teachers and those who want to be teachers. So um, stuff you can actually print, save and print and use in your classroom, um, job offers, um, any kind of uh, Teflon and TESOL related stuff, really. So I really recommend you like and subscribe. So like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube if you haven't yet. Um, and yeah, we also always turn our live sessions into podcast episodes. So we also do that. If you check on um, iTunes, Spotify, all the major podcast um, providers out there, if you type in Teflon TESOL podcast by ITTT, it will show up there. So if you like podcasts, um, I highly recommend checking that out. Cool, yeah, okay. Hicham is thinking of getting the 120 hour Teflon certificate. Great, yeah. That is the most popular option really because it is the international standard pretty much, 120 hours. So that's a good uh, course to start with for sure. And as always, if you have seen me before, you know that there is a 30% off opportunity during our live sessions. So how can you get this discount? Let me show you. <laughs> uh, I do believe I have this on here. Yes. So either you scan this QR code, also right upper right hand corner, anytime throughout this live session, you can scan it. And we also have um, a regular uh, discount link. Let me share that with you so that if you want to take a course, uh, you get 30% off. So there you go. Looks like this should appear in your comment section now. Looks like this ends with Facebook Live minus Linda. If you click on that, you fill out the application. Um, then you will get a 30% discount. You choose the course that you want. We can also go through the couple, a couple of different courses today if that's what you're interested in because we do have so many different options. It can get a little bit overwhelming. I understand that. So... If you're not quite sure which course to get, feel free to ask and I can go over some. Uh, then we have Wasanta. 
I hope I'm saying that correctly, from Italy. Awesome. Where in Italy are you at? Very nice. Then we have Teaching Circle here from Manila. Welcome, welcome. Great. And Yassine says, I appreciate all the valuable tips and the resources you post on your page. Very helpful. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, I think, um, you know, more people should know about it and take advantage of really these free resources that we offer every day. You can find something new on our page. So that's why I recommend um, liking, following, subscribing, you know. Then we have Rare ESL from Japan. Welcome, welcome. Hi. And Vanessa says, uh, I teach English across the board, primary to secondary. I haven't done the TEFL or TESOL course yet. Okay, great. Yeah, so we do actually get a lot of um, English teachers who've been English teachers for quite a while. And then they just decide, you know what, I also want to get the TEFL and TESOL side of things. And they take the TEFL or TESOL course, but they still continue teaching English in their home country. We actually have a lot of um, course graduates like this. So um, welcome. Feel free. If you have any questions, today is your opportunity. Uh, teaching Circle says, it's been two years since I took the TESOL but didn't finish the course. Oh, no. I'm considering again. Definitely you should. It's not only, you know, you obviously also learn a lot of things uh, while during the course, but if you don't finish it, you don't have your certificate in hand. And that obviously um, is unfortunate. You should also have the certificate in your hand, right? And be able to show it off. And some countries and schools also require their teachers to be TEFL and TESOL certified. So um, yeah, if you didn't finish it, you don't get your certificate. That's very unfortunate. So maybe I should pick it up again. Maybe the 30% off today is an encouragement for you. <laughs> All right, then we have Mamuna from Pakistan. Awesome, great, welcome, welcome. Yeah, so we really have people from all over today. That's great. And let me see, yeah. So yeah, like I said, today's topic is just a casual TEFL TESOL Q&A session. So you have the opportunity to ask me questions about TEFL TESOL, teaching abroad, teaching online, and hopefully I'll be able to answer them. <laughs> and let me just introduce myself real quick for people who don't know me yet. And I'm just gonna make this, oh, like this, bigger, there we go. So my name is Linda. I am on the one side, I am a travel writer and content creator under the name Linda Goes East. East because I've always really um, had an interest in Asia. And I've actually been uh, based in Asia pretty much since 2012. I've lived in China and now I'm based in South Korea. Um, I have my own website at lindagoeseast.com. So if you're interested in Asia traveling or also teaching over there, do uh, check it out. And also on Instagram at Linigos East. I'm very active over there. I uh, create a lot of fun, entertaining reels, I hope, and obviously travel content, inspiration from Asia. Nowadays, more um, South Korea only due to COVID and all that travel restrictions. I'm originally from Germany and the US. And right now I am in Germany visiting family, but next week I am actually heading back to Korea already. I've been here for two months. But time goes by so fast, so it's already time to say goodbye. Then on the other side here, um, as you can see, I'm also a TEFL and TESOL marketing professional. I've been doing that for uh, many years now. Um, really, time goes by so fast. Um, and yeah, for ITTT, which stands for International TEFL and TESOL Training, you can find us at tefelcourse.net and on Instagram at International TEFL Training, but also on all the other major um, social media platforms. As you can see, I know some of you are watching on Facebook right now. Some of you are watching on YouTube right now. So we're everywhere pretty much. And what is ITTT? Well, it's a leading TEFL and TESOL course provider worldwide. So, and we offer uh, many different courses, online courses, many different online courses. We also have in-class courses and combined courses uh, for all needs. Um, so depending on what you want to do later, where you want to go teach, how long you want to go teach, 
um, you would pick a different course. It always depends on also your background and your future plans. So that's why I like to have these casual Q&A sessions once a month. All the other weeks, we usually have topics. So if, um, you know, I always recommend browsing our playlist on YouTube and on Facebook. We do have our live session, uh, live session saved on our playlists. And I recommend going over there because we, we literally talked about everything under the sun related to Teflon T-Sol. So you're going to find a lot of information there. And then once a month, I sit down and I just have a casual chat with you where you can ask me questions um, across the board. But every live session, I take questions, obviously. But today is just about, um, yeah, answering your questions pretty much. And um, yeah. We do have 30% off. Just want to say that again, you can scan the QR code or use the code in um, the comment section that looks like this, and you get a 30% discount off of your TEFL course. And I see that there is a question from Rare Breed, Rare ESL. So let me take this question. Uh, asking, I have acquired the TEFL TESOL certificate. Please, which other exam can I write for advanced level? Good. So we do have um, either what you can do is, and I do have slides for that. So let me show you in my slides. Um, if I can find the correct one. Yes. Yeah, so either you take one of these specialized courses, which is uh, teaching business English, teaching English to young learners, or teaching English online. Those are 50 hour um, additional specializations that you can take if you have at least 100 hours of TEFL TESOL training already. And so these are great if obviously you want to go into these specialized fields in these areas. I have personally taken all of those. Um, the first one that I took was the teaching English to young learners because I was teaching kindergartners at the time. And that really helped me. Um, better control um, the little kids um, because they are different than adult students for sure. And then the second one that I took was the business English course. This one, also 50 hours. Um, that was great because then I was also taking on business English students, adults, um, and I was able to better provide uh, value for them. And then in 20, I think it was 2020, I took the teaching English online course, which was brand new at the time. Um, and I actually started teaching online last year. And that course also really helped me do that. So that is one option. You can do a specialized course or um, you can, let me just find the correct slide so I can show you better. Yeah, so here, which course is right for you? This one is the standard one. Yeah, those are the specializations I was talking about. And um, yeah, I don't have a slide for this one in particular, but the diploma course, so which is here, uh, it's either 250 um, if you've already done a 120 hour course, or then if you haven't done that, I think it's 370 hours. Um, let me look that up on our website, but you can just go to teflacourse.net and you'll find all the different courses there. But if you want to really advance, I recommend the diploma and I'm just going to share the link with you real quick. Also with our um, discount so you can get 30% off. Let me just figure that out one second. As I always say, I do not have a helper here, unfortunately, it's just me. I have two laptops and I need to keep an eye on the comments. So sometimes, you know, it takes some time, but there we go. If you click on that, that is the um, diploma course. And we do also offer bundles, but the bundles are great for people who don't have any um, TEFL TESOL certification yet. So, all right. Second question from our Rare ESL. Is there any exam that can qualify me as a global English teacher who can teach English anywhere in the world. Yeah, so that's uh, what TEFL and TESOL is for. So um, when you have a look at this, I usually start with that. What is the difference between TEFL and TESOL? So let's take a look at what it stands for. As you can see, 
TEFL stands for teaching English as a foreign language. And TESOL stands for teaching English to speakers of other languages. So the training that you receive, whether you take a TEFL course or a TESOL course, is identical, right? The only difference is, um, if you look here, TEFL is commonly used within the UK and Europe. So the acronym, the word um, TEFL is more commonly used in Europe and the UK, whereas TESOL, this term is usually preferred in Australia, in US, uh, Canada, places like this. They tend to say TESOL, whether, whereas in Europe, people uh, call it TEFL, but it is the same thing. So at ITTT, you can actually choose whether your certificate says TEFL or TESOL course, you can choose. So depending on maybe where you're from or where you wanna go teach, you can choose either TEFL or TESOL, but the training is the same. It means the exact same thing, essentially. So it's just like tomato, tomato. It's the same, <laughs> basically. So a TEFL course, a TESOL course allows you to teach English as a foreign language abroad, online, in your home country. Um, yeah, so that is the certificate that you would get um, when you want to go teach English abroad. All right, question here from top tens. Does teaching in Germany require a particular certificate and what level of mastery of German language is required? So this uh, really depends on the school. There is no, you know, unlike um, places like Korea or Japan, where they have government funded programs like the JET program in Japan, the EPIC program in Korea, those are like government funded programs that place English teachers into Korea or Japan, they have standardized requirements for their teachers, but Germany doesn't have that. So it depends on the school. It varies from school to school. So you would have to actually check. You can also check that on our website. We do have a job section. Um, we do have a job section. One second. I always want to add this. Um, and you can filter by um, country. So you can go to our website, job section, and then look at um, Germany. I'm going to share the link with you right now. Um, and then you can see the different requirements for Germany or teaching there. But for Europe, generally, the more require, like the more uh, certifications you have, the better. Um, so for for like uh, Western Europe in general, it's more difficult to get into also because of visa issues. Um, typically schools don't really want to, um, yeah, deal with any of the hassle of uh, that. So I was at a, I grew up in Germany and I was at foreign language schools and the teachers there, they were mostly either from the UK or Ireland. So within the EU, or they were um, married actually to um, Germans, and so that or a European person. So then they can they could get the visa easier. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's impossible. But it just depends on the school, from school to school. I hope that helps. <laughs> so if you go here, TEFL jobs um, on our website, you can filter by country and you can take a look at all the different job offers. And those are schools and recruitment agencies that we partner with um, that specifically send us their job offers. You typically can't find them anywhere else. And um, yeah, so that's how that works. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. All right, good, good stuff. Keep your questions coming. I'm eager um, to listen and hopefully to provide a good answer to you guys. Let me see what else I have over here. Yeah, sure thing. You're very welcome. Yeah, we already talked about this. Okay, but let me ask you guys a question. Now I talked a little bit about the, um, the specialization courses. So we do have business English, teaching English to young learners and teaching English online. Which of those are you most interested in? Which of those are you most interested in? And why? So which one of those would you take? Which one of those would you take? Mm. 
let me know. And why? Why that one? Or why maybe not the other one? Let me know. And I'm preparing that link for you so you can take a look at the specialized courses. Um, here. Here you have an overview of all of our specialized courses on this page. Again, it has my Facebook Live uh, discount at the end. So if you use this code uh, or link, then you can get 30% off. All right, top 10s is more, most interested in business English. Yeah, that's great. I've taught um, business English and that really tends to make the most money as well. So uh, they pay very well when you teach business professionals. So that's a good uh, specialization, specialized field to get into. Nice. All right, Yassin is asking a question. How long did you live in China and how was your personal experience teaching there? Yeah, great question. So um, let me pull up our map maybe. Okay. So um, I was actually in China in the first time in 2012. Um, that time I did not teach English yet. I was actually working at an online marketing company. And then the second time I went down there was 2014. And then I taught English at a private English center. Um, and with that, and that's kind of the same in Korea as well. Sometimes private schools are really hit or miss. Um, some of them, because the, the mm, demand for English language education is so big. Uh, so you really need to be careful and find a good school. But, I mean, the good thing is you can always change schools, so that's not a big issue. I um, learned Chinese in university, uh, so it was, and, and obviously also about the culture, so I knew what I was getting into. I had been to China before twice. Um, I knew the language, I knew the culture, so it wasn't a big, like, cultural shock or anything. I enjoyed living there very, very much. I know that now um, it's very different from when I went, uh, 2014. Now that's, oh my gosh, that's, it's going to be eight years ago. That's a long time. Anyway, um, it's very different now. And I did a live session about teaching in China or specifically the new regulations that actually came about in summer 2021. I did a live session about that. Um, because there are a lot of things happening at the moment, I think. And um, it, China used to be the biggest and best um, EFL market. And I feel like for this year, 2022, it's not going to be as great. So a lot of things happening. And I think for this year, I would not recommend going to China because of these new regulations, because it's kind of unsure and I don't want to recommend it and then somebody goes over and then, you know, they lose their job or something, they have to go back. So if you like Chinese culture, the Chinese language, I think for now I would recommend going to Taiwan instead um, because of those issues and because it's just so uncertain right now in China. But they are still hiring over there. It's just a little bit more difficult. Um and also because of COVID, I know that uh, it's really hard to get into China at the moment. So that's why. But I, I enjoyed living there. It's a beautiful country. It's, it's so big. So you have mountains, you have ocean, uh, beaches, oceans, lakes, what have you. You have everything, deserts. Um, you have ice, ice villages. Like you have everything there. So that's really nice for traveling and exploring and all that. Yep. All right, then back to um, the specialization. So top 10 is saying um, business specialization course. And he says, I like the business world and would like to set up my own Tefl tea cell shop one day. I also like adults. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been teaching online since uh, last year, beginning of last year. And I almost only teach adults. And uh, coming from teaching very young children, it's very different. Um, so I definitely enjoy that as well. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're welcome, Yasin. You're welcome. All right. 
rare ESL is saying, I have preference for teaching online because the world is getting digitalized and due to the COVID-19, online teaching is becoming mainstream gradually. Yeah, actually last week I did a live session about um, online teaching in 2022, uh, the trends, the predictions and things like that. So if you are interested in teaching online in this year, in the new year, um, go ahead and check out last week's live session. I recommend that. And he also says working with adults is great. Yeah, I mean, yeah, usually adult students, they want to be in the classroom, right? Whereas children sometimes um, are kind of forced by their parents and you can just feel that. Okay, and Rare ESL says, I, will, I would like to gain mastery over it, to learn all the required techniques so that I can launch out fully as an online teacher. Great, so I recommend getting the um, online teaching specialization course, this one, Teaching English Online. This specialization course, I took that as well. Um, if you're not yet uh, TEFL certified, we also have a 170 hour that is a course that is the 120 standard TEFL course plus 50 hour Teaching English Online uh, specialization in one and is cheaper that way. It's one of our bundles, so I do recommend that. Um, yeah, and this Teaching English Online course also kind of goes into the technical side of things. So what kind of equipment you need, what kind of online uh, tools are out there that teachers can use for the virtual classroom, because it's very different from a real classroom. You need to worry about, you know, how in, in the real classroom you have your board, you can print out papers. In the virtual classroom, you don't have that. So how can you still do worksheets, how can you still have a board? And there's so many different tools out there and this uh, specialized course um, teaches you how to, how to use them and what uh, the options are out there. Free tools, there are also paid tools, etc. cetera. So um, yeah, definitely good stuff out there. Yeah, also let me see, we already talked about this. Um, yeah. TEFL certificate, we talked about that. Mm, different options. So yeah, at ITTT, we do have a pretty wide range. So from 50 hours of training to 550 hours of training. So depending on what you want to do with your certificate, basically. However, most of the time, whether you want to teach English abroad, or you want to teach online, the minimum is 100 hours plus. Sometimes it can also be 120 hours, so it really depends. Um, and so, yeah, we have a wide variety of different courses to suit all needs. Um, there's no one size fits all with TEFL courses. So you would, it really depends on your background and where you want to go. But um, yeah, I already mentioned the specialization. So those are great to add to your portfolio and to kind of stand out from all the other teachers and competition. Um, all of our courses are internationally accredited and they are accepted worldwide. I myself have, I believe, four um, ITTT certificates and I was always hired and they were always impressed by the certificates and accepted, no issues. So, um, yeah, because I'm in Germany right now, I don't have my physical certificate with me. Usually when I go live in Korea, I always show you guys my certificate. I have it here, but now um, I don't have it with me. But um, you can find samples also on our website. You can take a look. And we have many, many different video testimonials. I did a video uh, showing you guys my certificate. It's on our YouTube channel as well. So you can go and check that out if you're not quite sure. But um, it's, it's a nice certificate. It's very nice uh, embossed and all that. Um, and you, when you take the course, we sent that to you anywhere in the world, wherever you are via mail, um, as soon as you complete your course, obviously that takes some time to get to you depending on where you are. Um, that's why we also provide PDF versions of your certificate so you can start applying right away. And nowadays you don't actually need to show your physical certificate to anyone. 
when you apply, you mostly apply online anyway. So you kind of, I only need PDF versions of my certificates nowadays anyway. You don't really need the printout or the, the paper one. So the paper one is just great for yourself. Some people hang it up um, or just to have in your files. So, okay. Yasin is asking about the specialized courses. I had my Teaching English to Young Learners course last year, and I found it quite helpful, especially uh, that I'm interested in teaching kids. I enjoyed it a lot, and the course helped me to understand the pedagogy and the te technicalities of teaching very young learners. Yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, I, I also, that, that was the first specialized course that I took, and I, I liked it. I found it very helpful. So... Great. Glad to hear that you also found it helpful and that you can use it in your classroom. So that's great. Thank you for mentioning that. That's great. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let me see what other slides I can show you that fit. Well, so this is the 120 hour, which is the now international minimum standard. Our uh, course is 100% online. We do have in class uh, courses as well uh, and combined ones where you do uh, part of it online and then part of it in a training center. I can also talk a little bit about that. If you're interested, let me know in the comments if you want to know more about in-class and combined courses. Um, so our online courses, we have more than just the 120 hour one, but this is the most popular one. And that one is 100% online. You can complete that from anywhere in the world. Um, I did a live session not too long ago where I showed you the online learning platform, how it works. So if you're interested in that, you can go back and check it out. Um, it's, it's very straightforward, super easy to use. Um, you can either learn, uh, read through and study the units online, or you can also download all of the material. Some people like to do that download and print it out and keep it in a binder. We have a lot of students who do that or you just save it on your computer as a PDF, <coughs> excuse me, anything is possible. Um, yeah, with this course, there are 20 units and they kind of mostly are like 50-50, so 50% teaching uh, methodology, techniques and skills and 50% focused on grammar. So the most important uh, English grammar topics and the topics that and what parts of those topics um, English students, English learners most struggle with, and then how you can, um, you know, as a teacher, what you can do to bring bring the point across and teach it effectively. With this course, you can also study at your own pace. You have up to six months to complete the course. So this is great for people who are working uh, full-time, part-time. If you have children, you need to other kind of responsibilities you have to take care of. You can study at your own pace. You don't need to be online at a certain time and be there. You can literally do this whenever you want at 2 a.m. in the morning or at um, 3 p.m. in the afternoon. doesn't matter. And yeah, at the end, you get an embossed hard copy certificate delivered straight to your door wherever you are in the world. And we also have notarization services available. So some countries or schools, they want their certificates to be, to have an extra stamp from a notar, notarized. We also do that, but that's not very common. Um, typically people don't really need that, but we do offer that as well. And as you can see down here with the price, so this one starts at 249. Again, you can take advantage of the 30% off. So then it's a lot cheaper. Um, and 339 US dollars with tutors. So our courses always come with and without tutor support, most courses. Um, so what that means is <clears throat> if you're uh, the type of person who can easily sit down and study by yourself without any help, um, then you don't really need a tutor. The tutor is great for people who kind of need a little bit of a push um, and get need to get more motivated to study. And you can also ask questions to your tutor at any time. If you didn't understand anything, if something from your unit, or you want, to, you want to know a little bit more about something, you can ask your tutor questions. So that's the difference. So it uh, depends on you, what 
kind of study method you prefer. Um, all up to you. All right. Yeah. Top Tens is asking, which European country is easiest to get into as a newly certified TEFL? Great question. And I have um, two recommendations for you. So one would be the Czech Republic. Um, this one we always recommend because they um, have uh, their visa regulations are not as strict if you are not from an EU country. So the Czech Republic is great, specifically the city of Prague. Um, really, really great there to get into easier. And the demand is also really good for um, certified teachers. And then the other one I'd like to mention is Hungary. And they actually have a um, government funded teaching program. I talked a bit about that in a previous live session. I did a live session about teaching English in Europe. So if you're interested in teaching English in Europe, go and check that out. Uh, you can find it on YouTube. I see you're watching on YouTube. Um, you can check it out. Um, and I mentioned both the Czech Republic and Hungary on there and their government funded teaching program because teaching programs like that are very rare in Europe. Um, they're mostly, you can mostly find them in Asia. So we have the JET program in Japan, the EPIC program in Korea. Um, and there's an, oh, the NET scheme in Hong Kong. So they're, they have a lot of programs like that in Asia, not so much in Europe, but Hungary has one. So I think that's also worth looking into. Okay, nice. Thank you for the question. Yep. One second. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me see. What else do I have for you here? Specializations. We talked about that. Um, the bundles. Yeah. So those are great for people who are not yet certified. The bundles because uh, you actually save money if you, with usually with bundles, it's the same. You can save. The more you uh, sign up for, the more you save. Um, so these are the bundles that we offer here. Um, if you have any questions about those specifically, do let me know. Um, I have the 220 hour master package is what I did. Um, so that is the 120 hour course plus um, the teaching business English specialization plus the teaching English to young learners. So to children um, specialization. I did that. And then when the online teaching English online specialization came out, I also took that one. So I have four certifications from ITTT. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just want to share uh, one more time our discount link. So we don't forget that some people, some new people have joined. So maybe they don't quite know what I'm talking about. You do get 30% um, off today. Either by um, scanning this QR code or by using this link down here and you fill out your application and you get 30% off your TEFL course. So that is my New Year's gift for you today. If you are not yet certified or you're thinking about doing specializations, or maybe the TESOL diploma, you can do that with 30% off. So um, yeah, happy new year. <laughs> yeah, and do keep your questions coming. I still have time. I'm still here for you today. And we can go over that together. Any questions you have, or let me ask you a question. Uh, I don't have any questions saved here anymore. All right. Hi, Brett. Hey, welcome. Long time no see. How are you doing? <laughs> okay. So Tens is asking, do you have a training center in Morocco? Can you offer info on, on how to book with them and such? Great question. Okay. Let me perhaps screen share real quick and show you. Um... Uh, about the in-class courses. Yeah. Okay. 
let me show you this real quick. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. So those are specialized courses. So now if you go here and you navigate to in-class courses, let's have a look here. And then, um, yeah, so you can read information about that here. And here you can go to um, locations. And what was, what country was the question? Morocco. Actually, I think we do not have Morocco, unfortunately. But you can browse all, where is it? Oh, here. <laughs> take some time. <laughs> you can browse all the individual course locations here. So these are all the cities. And I think down here, yeah, you can also do that by country. So Morocco, we do not have Morocco, unfortunately, but we do have Egypt, uh, which is kind of close, or um, Spain, perhaps, if that is interesting. Uh, but yeah, we do have many options. Some of them are not currently running any courses due to COVID situations. So you do need to go in the individual um site. I do know that, yeah, Thailand is running. So let's go to Thailand. You would click on that. It takes a moment. Um, and we also sometimes have more than one city available. So here we have Bangkok or Phuket. And I do believe Phuket is running at the moment. Their January course is actually full, um, I believe. And then you can, yeah, find out the information here about the different, um, the, the specific TEFL location. And yeah, so an in-class course is four weeks at a training center. So weekends are usually off. So it's Monday to Friday. Um, you would go to the school. You would learn the theoretical part of uh, TEFL and TESOL. And then you also, and that's the great thing about an in-class course, you have the opportunity to also teach real English students and get teaching experience. And that's the one thing that you don't have with an online course, right? So here you go. Oh, here, course dates. And this one is actually already full, I believe. So these are all the available dates for 2022. We have quite a lot here in Phuket um, because Phuket is open and running. Also, many other um, destinations in Europe are open and running. So, um, yeah. And then you have the course fees here, accommodation fees. And as you can see, um, in-class courses are a lot more expensive than the online courses. So that's another thing. Um, and this is excluding your flight. So you have to care about your own flight. Um, accommodation is provided, but you can also book your own accommodation. So it really depends. But the price also varies from um, in-class center to in-class center. Yeah, this is just what it looks like. <laughs> okay. I hope that was helpful. All right. Brett has a question. He says, sorry, I'm late and I don't know if it's been asked, but what are the most effective ways to search for jobs once you have your certification? I got certified last summer. Congratulations. I remember you were in Rome, right? Four weeks in class course, actually what we're just talking about in Rome. Amazing. Um, yeah. So there are a lot of different ways actually. And um, it depends on where you want to go teach, right? So I did live sessions in the past specifically by continent. So it was like teaching English in Europe. And then I would mention the most popular countries and the different sites, um, and job forums where you can find jobs. So you can either do that individual search or you can take advantage of ITTT's job um, guidance services. So you would contact us upon graduating and let us know where you would like to teach. And we will also help you. We will send you lots of resources and um, the network and connections that we have with different schools and recruiters and job platforms. Um, and connect you that way. Also, one thing, and I can show you this also right here, we do have a job section here. So if you click on jobs, um, you can search. Yeah, we have online here or then by different either continents or countries. You can also search for jobs. This is always updated continuously. Um, or you go with a um, TEFL TESOL recruiter, 
And we also have some that we work with. Uh, and that is, EFO. yeah, EFO. can you see the URL in here? No. Okay. So I'm going to share that with you too, this link. And these are actually TEFL and TESOL um, recruiters. Uh, one second. That we work with, that we partner with, and um, you can contact those as well. Yeah. This one. Oh, yeah, you can see the page already, can't you? <laughs> Just the link to the page. Hold on. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Looks like this. I always add um, the discount part already so that um, if you decide to sign up for a course, you can uh, do that with this link and you get 30% off. So this is the page and then you can go to scroll down. Yeah, re uh, Reach to Teach is a big one that we work with, uh, Recruiter. Sometimes they... Um, let me just look. We click on their website. Is it sharing? No, no, it's not sharing that. Uh, yeah, so sometimes it depends that they only specialize on certain regions. What do they say? I know that they are Asia for sure. And it's a free ESL teacher placement agency, and they've been around for a long time, so that's a great place to look. Um, also, ESL Starter, and they are really worldwide from Bogota to Bangkok, from Seoul to Santiago, so they're worldwide. Um, then we have some like Wanderlust China, so they're only for China, um, so it really depends. So here you can find some good ones um, here as well. Footprints is really good. And um, yeah, so all of them are for free. We don't charge candidates for our services. So that is important to know about recruiters, that teachers don't pay um, the recruiters. The school pays for the recruiter. So that's important to remember. If you come across a recruiter who wants money from you, it's likely going to be a scam. So all of these, as you can see, are for free. Also here, they mentioned that a free ESL teacher placement agency because the school pays for the recruitment agent to find a teacher for their school, not the teacher pays. So and I, what I recommend is using all of these things together. So these are on the main page. So these are here on EFL minus ESL minus jobs. But they should also be in the email that you receive upon graduating from your course. There should be a ton of resources already. Um, but sometimes it, you know, there's a lot of information in these emails, so I get it. But that's this is where you can find those recruiters. Or you can also email us, um, and we will put you in touch with them. You can also do that. We are in regular contact with all of these people from these recruiters. And this goes for any uh, everyone here. So <clears throat> if you have a question, excuse me, if you have a question about any of this later, feel free to reach out uh, via email courses at tsol-tefl.com. You can always email us, reach out. You can also e uh, send a message to me on Instagram here at, at Linda Goes East. Um, I know a lot of you have already reached out to me, gave me a follow as well, so I appreciate that. And then we can have a private chat as well. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I always, Like I said, with uh, finding jobs, I like to use all of these resources available. Go with a recruiter, do your own research, um, you know, join Facebook groups. I always mention Facebook groups, but they are great. And um, you just type in uh, teaching jobs in Korea, teaching jobs in Peru. I don't know. And you'll find a Facebook page and you can connect with people. And a lot of times in those forums or groups, teachers who are leaving their schools um, post um, then and are looking for a replacement teacher more often than not. And it, it's kind of 
you know, it's networking, a lot of it, um, knowing people. So, um, yeah. Sure, you're welcome. <laughs> Great. Yeah, so that's usually how it goes. Yeah, I'm thinking what else can I show you here? Mm, what else is interesting? Maybe this is also important. This, uh, When you're looking for a good TEFL um, provider, you should always look for affiliation and accreditation. So what does it look like here? You find information here, how we are accredited. Um, yeah. All of our online courses here, they are um, accredited by the Paris College of International Education. And they are actually here. Um, you can actually earn credits, US credits for a university as well by taking a TEFL course from us. If that's something you're interested in, again, email us at here courses. Um, at tsol-tefl.com and we can provide more information about that. Um, yeah, that's that. Oh, and also let me show you this. If you haven't seen our uh, certificates before, you can find them, for example, 120. And there should be a button. Hmm. Where, where did it go? The sample. Yeah, here, TEFL certificate sample. It's sometimes not so easy to spot. So if you click on here, then you can actually see what the certificate will look like. So this is what it will look like. But obviously on really nice paper, print out embossed, um, and it says here, Successful completion of the ITTT 120 hour TEFL course. So this is what you can choose, whether it should say TEFL or TESOL. But the good thing is that in our logo, it also says both TEFL and TESOL. And then it says your name and when you receive the certificate and those do never expire. I just want to also mention that they do not expire. Um, and this number down here, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see my mouse too? I hope you can. <laughs> can you see my mouse? Hold on. Oh yeah, you can. Okay. So here, this number in the right, uh, lower right, right hand corner, you can actually use this number to verify your certificate or rather your, uh, potential employer can use this, type it in on our website. Um, and verify that this is a legit certificate and that also you took the course because obviously there are some Photoshop um, artists that try to um, fake certificates. So that's why this is very important to have. And yeah, they do not expire. Um, yeah, they're good for life. I thought I wanted to mention one more thing about them, but I think that's pretty much it. And so you can see a sample of every certificate when you go in, on to when you go into the the individual page the certificate. <laughs> yeah, Brett says after getting my taste of traveling due to my course last summer, he was in Rome. Um, I'm super antsy to leave. Yeah, I bet. Did you figure out where you want to go? I know you were like between a couple of countries. Where would you like to go? I mean, with a TEFL certificate, most of the time, really, uh, the world is your oyster. You can really pick and choose where you want to go. It's really great. So, yeah. That's it, pretty much. We are slowly nearing the end of this live session. So if there's still a question that you want to ask, now is your opportunity. Usually, I do these live sessions for about an hour. So we still have about five minutes left. Um, so yeah. <laughs> okay, Brett wants to go to Italy, Spain, Germany, but also Korea is intriguing. Yeah, I would love to show you around there. Um, so yeah, come on over. <laughs> Great. 
I would actually love to go to all of these as well. Well, Germany. I am in Germany. I am from Germany. So um, maybe not Germany. <laughs> I've always, you know, you always want what you don't have or like the complete opposite. That's, that's why I was always really interested in Asia because I'm from Europe and my dad is American. So I know all of that stuff. So I want something completely different. Okay, great question. So top tens, um, I forgot the name. I'm so sorry. What was the name? Um, where was it? Uh, oh yeah, Hicham. Hicham, I hope I'm saying it correctly, from Morocco. Thanks for the question. Uh, the question is, is the 120 hour certificate enough to teach abroad or is a bundle better? Um, yeah, so that's a good question. Let me pull up the bundles again. It's gonna stop this and then, yeah. Bundles, bundles, bundles. Um, there's no uh, perfect answer to this question. It always depends on uh, where you want to teach, how long you want to teach for. Um, and your background as well. So yeah, here are the bundles. This might be a little too small now to read. So here we go. Um, technically the, if you want to go to really, to a place that's really competitive, more training, more training hours is, um, recommended. And also, if you are a non-native English speaker, you should also look into getting a English um, uh, proficiency certificate, so like an IELTS or a Cambridge certificate or a TOEFL. Um, and my colleague Lisa, who also goes live once a week, she is a non-native English teacher from Russia. She recently just uh, passed her IELTS, I believe, or her second time or third time, I'm not sure. Um, and she also has a lot of resources and tips specifically for non-native English teachers, what to do, how you can polish your resume. But um, it really depends. So I would recommend, honestly, um, because nowadays um, TEFL is uh, competitive. And we talked about this last week with um, trends for 2022. Now that countries are opening up more and hiring again, more people are applying this year, so it's more competitive again. And the standard is the 120-hour course, this this one. That's the standard, and this is the one that pretty much everybody has. Um, so if you really want to stand out and be able to really pick and choose the city you want to be in, the kind of school you want to teach at, um, I would go higher. And I would recommend the 100, uh, the 220-hour master package. I recommend that because then you have, this is English, you have teaching young learners, which are the two biggest um, fields in EFL anyway. I recommend that. And then you can also think about going higher, so adding the, um, the diploma course, like here, you can add that. This is for people who want to... Um, kind of also pursue a more uh, leading role, so like a head teacher role. Um, that's also great for that. So yeah, that is my personal recommendation and from my experience. And um, Hicham also has a bachelor's in English studies, which is great. Typically for teaching English abroad, a bachelor's is a requirement in most places. You can still find um, a job, teaching job in different countries without a degree, that's also possible, but better if you do have a degree. Some countries only hire um, teachers with a bachelor's degree, and typically this degree can be in any any major, but if you have an Engli Eng English um, studies major, that's even better. So that's a plus. That's a plus. Typically, it's not enough to only have um, a degree, even if it's in English studies, uh, because some countries, they actually need you to have a TEFL or TESOL certificate in order for you to get the visa. So that's the case in China, for example, and many other countries now as well. Um, 
And those requirements are always updated. Um, so more and more countries are putting a TEFL and a TESOL as a requirement um, for getting a work visa there. So that's why a TEFL is always recommended to get. Okay, I hope that uh, was helpful and help, a helpful answer for you. All right, then I am slowly saying goodbye to you guys now. And I just want to mention the discount one more time. We have some people who uh, joined just now. So we do have a 30% off Happy New Year's gift from me to you today during this live. So you can either scan this QR code to get your 30% off any TEFL or TESOL course from ITTT. You can start the new year with a bang and get TEFL and TESOL certified. Um, if you can't scan this uh, QR code, no problem. I've shared the, I've shared links here in the comment section before. So any link that ends with Facebook Live minus Linda, like this one, um, will get you 30% off. So um, if this is something you're interested in, I'd appreciate you use this link, saves you 30%. Um, start the year right. And then I'm going to say goodbye for now, for today. Thank you so much for, yeah, taking some time out of your day today. And uh, happy new year, everybody. Stay happy, stay healthy. Um, take a TEFL course, TESOL course, if you want to teach English as a foreign language this year. Now is a great time um to do so once you're ready again if you have any questions you can reach out to me um, on instagram at linda goes east or via email as always courses at tesol minus tefl.com and i will see you again um not next week next week i'm traveling back to korea so i'm probably gonna uh need some time to uh, get used to the new time zone uh but the week after i will be back with another exciting topic, hopefully. And until then, um, like I said, stay happy, stay healthy. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate appreciate you guys that you always tune in. And also, Brett, thank you. Where's the comment here? <laughs> happy New Year to you as well. Thanks so much for always coming back to my live sessions. I appreciate you so much. Um, like I always say, kind of, we have become this TEFL family, and I uh, really enjoy that. Over a year now that we've been going live, actually October was a year that we've started last, like October 2020, we started going live. So it's been over a year and so fun to get to know you guys. And um, yeah, I wish you all the best until next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe to use the 30 percent off opportunity. You know the drill. And then I'll see you again next week. All right. <laughs> Thank you all. And Happy New Year again. Happy 2020. Bye.